Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're gonna take a look at an easy and quick command that's gonna allow you to rename objects within AutoCAD. This is gonna include renaming layers, block names, layout tabs or viewports, as well as a ton of other options. And it can all be done from a single dialog box that's gonna save you a ton of time. Let's jump right into today's video and check it out. <laughs> All right, so jumping right in, this is gonna be a quick one since this command is pretty straightforward once you know how to use it. So the command name is called rename. Straightforward and does what it says. So we're gonna type in rename, R-E-N-A-M-E, -E, and hit enter. It's gonna bring up your renaming dialog box. And from here, it's as simple as choosing the object type you would like to rename, say a block, and then selecting the block you want to rename and entering the new name down here, clicking rename to is going to change it quickly and automatically throughout your drawing. So if you're running into issues with say duplicate block names or you've changed the block enough that you wanna change out the name or uh, give it some more description like this one here, say door dash bifold, maybe you wanna change this one here, door slash something or maybe you want to give it a size so that you know what size door it is you can do that simply by typing in the new block name down here maybe you want to rename it to say door 32 for a 32 inch door and you can simply hit rename you can see here that the block name has now changed to door 32. And if you want to change it back or modify it later, it's as easy as selecting it, giving it a new name and clicking rename. Now this is especially useful for changing layer names quickly. Maybe you have a text layer that you want to change up or you've misnamed a layer. And this is just a quick and easy way to skim through all of the layers in your drawing, quickly rename and organize them. Maybe you want to change them all so they have say like a phase one or a phase two or future or existing. You can add that to these layer names by simply clicking on them, changing the text here and renaming. Now another cool one uh, that I like is the fact that you can change out the name of style. So if you say have duplicate styles or you've insert or bound xrefs and you've got kind of confusing or complicated layer names or text style names, uh, fixing and cleaning those up within this dialog is super easy. So if you like this tip and you're a fan of some of the other videos on my channel or if you're looking to learn AutoCAD fast and easy, I have a course, the AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows in a Hurry course, which is available now for instant download and viewing at the link up above and down below. I've packed over 10 years of experience into this course, giving you all of my tips, tricks, and workflows along the way, including things like sheet sets, XRefs, layers, setting up templates, exporting drawings, plotting, all of that good stuff is included in the course as well as a bonus item which is my AutoCAD productivity webinar which is an hour of tips and tricks that are going to speed up your drafting time with everything you do in AutoCAD. So if you're interested in either of those uh, check it out at the link up above and down below for an automatic discount to be applied using those links for viewers like yourself. Now back to the video, uh, we've now shown kind of how to easily rename any of these objects. Uh, you can also use it for textiles, table styles, sections, uh, a ton of different uses, but the main ones typically used that I uh, like are blocks and layers. Uh, they're gonna save you a bunch of time and this command is just a great one to know, especially if you're running into any duplicate naming issues like I mentioned. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below and like this video. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. Cheers, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again, cheers.